Hello everyone, welcome to GS Core. Today we'll be discussing about current affairs through MCQs. So uh, there are certain questions from uh, from science and technology, and those questions are in the form of MCQs, and mostly those questions are related to current affairs. Let us start with the questions. So uh, before we start with the questions, there is uh, one All India PT mock test uh, coming up. So you can enroll uh, in this particular test. So first test has already been conducted. Second test is on 30th of April and it will be followed by third test on 10th of May. So you can check this out. First question is consider the following about leptospirosis disease in the recently flood affected areas. Right. So the question is about a disease called as leptospirosis disease. So first, it is a zoonotic disease recently spread in Rajasthan. Now, this statement is an incorrect statement because leptospirosis more often than not is seen during floods and in Rajasthan, we have not witnessed floods in the recent past. So, it is mostly related to uh, areas like Bengaluru where floods were there and other parts of let us say uh, Karnataka and Kerala. Right. So, first statement is incorrect statement. Second statement. It is a bacterial infection in rodents only. Now, this statement is partly correct, but this word only makes it incorrect because yes, it is a bacterial infection in rodents and also in other domesticated and wild animals, right? So, it is not only seen in rodents and that is why question uh, statement 2 is also incorrect statement. Third, it is transmitted by exposure through water contaminated by urine from infected animals, right? So, if a person is exposed to water contaminated by urine of infected animals, that person will be exposed to or that person will suffer from leptospirosis disease. So, third statement is correct. Fourth, the infection in man is contracted through skin abrasions and mucosa of the nose, mouth and eyes, right? So, uh, how one can get, uh, get this particular disease? In case there is contact uh, with the with the uh, with the products of let's say or with the body body products of uh, coming from nose mouth and eyes, then that person will be will be contacted with the disease and also through skin abrasions. So third fourth statement is also a correct statement. So both these statements third and fourth are correct, and that's why answer is C three and four only. Question number one answer is three and four only. Next question now. Next question is consider the following statements about cryptocurrencies, right? So, uh, the question is about cryptocurrencies and what are cryptocurrencies? These are uh, digital currencies which are based on cryptography, right? So, let us consider the statements first. It is a digital currency in which encryption techniques are used to regulate the generation of units of currency and verify the transfer of funds. Right. So, this statement is a correct statement about cryptocurrencies. They are digital currency and they use encryption in order to generate the currency and also for the verification of the transactions using these currencies. First statement is correct. Second, it operates independently from central banks. So, this is the basic feature of cryptocurrencies. They do not have a regulator and that is why they operate independently of central bank. Second is correct. Third, Recently, Marshall Islands has uh, decided to issue its own cryptocurrency that will be circulated as legal tender along with the US dollar, right? So, this statement is also a correct statement about, about the uh, cryptocurrency issued by Marshall Island and that cryptocurrency issued by Mar Marshall Island is called as SOV, SOV that means sovereign. Right, sovereign is a cryptocurrency of Marshall Island and it will be considered as a legal tender along with US dollar. So, all these three statements are correct statements regarding cryptocurrencies and that is why answer is D, 1, 2 and 3. Question number 2, answer is D. Next now, third question. SpaceX is building big Falcon rocket and spacecraft, BFR. In this context, consider the following statements. Right. So, the uh, aim of SpaceX to set up 
uh, human city on the Martian surface. And for that purpose, they have developed, they are building a big Falcon rocket and spacecraft that is BFR. Let us consider the statements first. Uh, BFR, so it should be BFR. BFR's main job will be to enable red planet settlement, right? So that is what is the ultimate aim of SpaceX BFR. BFR is being developed for the exploration, for the establishment of a city on the Martian surface. First statement is correct. Second, both the rocket and spaceship will be reusable. So this is one of the important statements for BFR. So BFR, in BFR, we have two components, rocket and spacecraft, and both are reusable. Both are reusable. Second statement is correct. Third, BFR could also send people to the moon and launch satellites to low Earth orbit. Right. So that statement is a correct statement. It can uh, even be used for the exploration of moon and even it can launch satellites in low Earth orbit. So that is a correct statement. Third statement is also a correct statement and that's why answer of this question is D, 1, 2 and 3. So third question answer is D. Next now, fourth question. Which of the following entities will collaborate to establish India's first model international center for transformative artificial intelligence? So in order to give boost to AI in India, Niti Aayog along with Intel and Tata Institute for Fundamental Research uh, have established a model international center for transformative artificial intelligence. So it is Niti Aayog, Intel and TIFR. That means one, two and four only is the correct choice for this particular question. So for this question, correct answer is C, one, two and four. Right. So question number two, uh, question number four answer is C. Next now, fifth question. Which of the following is India's first underwater robotic drone? So India's first underwater robotic drone is iRov Tuna. iRov Tuna is the uh, first underwater robotic drone of India. And it was, uh, it was handed over to Na it was handed over to Naval Physical and and oceanographic oceanographic laboratory. Right, it was handed over to uh, NPOL NPOL of DRDO of DRDO. Right. So that is the answer. Okay. Answer is IROF tuna. Next question now. Consider the following statements about ISAT 2. So uh, let us consider these statements. It is a spacecraft. Uh, let us consider the statements. First, ISAT 2 mission is launched by European Space Agency. This statement is an incorrect statement. It is by NASA. It is not of European Space Agency. It is of NASA. And that's why first statement is incorrect. You are supposed to find out incorrect statements only. Second statement. It will carry a single instrument, the Advanced Topographic Laser Altimeter System or ATLAS, which records the travel time of laser pulses to measure the elevation of Earth's surface. Right. So this statement is a correct statement because ISAT uh, will be carrying a uh, instrument called as ATLAS, which will allow scientists to measure the elevation of ice sheets on the Earth's surface. Right? And it will do that on the basis of travel time of the pulsed re, uh, laser radiations. Right? So second statement is a correct statement regarding ISAT. Third statement, the satellite will measure heights across Earth's temperate and tropical regions and take stock, stock of vegetation in forests worldwide. Right? So this statement is also a correct statement. One of the objectives of ISAT is to I said to is to ensure that or to measure uh, the uh, heights across Earth's temperate and tropical region and also to know more about the vegetation in the forest across the world. Second and third statements are correct statements. First statement is incorrect. Answer is A. 
वन ओनली क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स आंसर इज ए वन ओनली नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ सो दिस इज अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स अबाउट मैन पोर्टेबल एंटी टैंक गाइडेड मिसाइल्स सो मैन पोर्टेबल एंटी टैंक गाइडेड मिसाइल इज ए इज ए वर्जन ऑफ नाग मिसाइल राइट सो लेट इज कंसिडर दी स्टेटमेंट्स फर्स्ट it has been developed by drdo in partnership with rafael advanced defense systems israel's defense technology company now this statement is an incorrect statement right so uh, it has been developed by drdo so drdo is there so drdo has developed this particular uh, man portable anti -guide, anti tank guided missile in association with indian defense contractor private indian defense contractor named vem Technologies Limited, right? So it is not Rafale Advanced Defence System of Israel. It is uh, India's defence private defence contractor, VEM Technologies Limited. First statement that's why is incorrect statement. Second, it has fire and forget and top attack capabilities which can be used uh, day and night, right? So these these are the features of MPTAG. right man portable anti tank guided missile has fire and forget forget and top attack capabilities second statement is a correct statement third it will complement the spike anti tank guided missile to be procured from israel right so this statement is a correct statement uh, the man portable anti tank guided missile will will work in association with spike Uh, anti tank guided missile to be procured from israel second and third statements are correct statements answer of this question is so we are again supposed to find out incorrect statements answer of this question is a again seventh question answer is a next next is cyclone 30 is related to which of the following so uh, it is not a it is not a tropical cyclone in odisha for sure so its answer is it is a cancer treatment facility right cyclone 30 is a cancer treatment facility which is there at which is there at variable variable energy cyclotron center variable energy cyclotron center which is there at kolkata fine so uh, it is a cancer treatment facility wherein uh, and, and it is, its feature is that it is the first and only cyclotron facility in the country uh, that produces certain isotopes uh, which will be used for the treatment of uh, various cancers like breast cancer and for the diagnosis of breast cancer and for the treatment of uh, prostate cancer uh, it produces certain radio isotopes right and what are what is cyclotron cyclotron uh, is used to produce isotopes right so cyclotrons uh, is the facility which is used to produce radio isotopes it produces produce radio isotope and these radio iso isotopes these radio isotopes can be used for diagnosis and for treatment as well fine so these radio isotopes can be used for diagnosis as well as treatment they can be used for diagnosis as well as treatment radio isotopes fine so answer of this question is b cancer treatment facility cyclone 30 is a cancer treatment facility where it is it is there at kolkata uh, and it its center is variable energy cyclotron center in kolkata and it is operated or it is under department of atomic energy it is under department of atomic energy right so that is about this question next question ninth question consider the following statements about national digital communications policy 2018 so there were various uh, aims of national digital communication policy 2018 and we are supposed to find out which of these are correct aims of this policy first uh, 
The policy aims to provide 10 Gbps connectivity to all Gram Panchayats by 2022. Right. So, uh, this statement uh, is an incorrect statement. This statement is an incorrect statement because 10 Gbps connectivity will be provided uh, will be provided by 2022. So, this, this is a correct statement 10 Gbps by 2022 and 1 Gbps, 1 Gbps by 2020. Right. So, that is a correct statement. First statement is correct statement. 1 Gbps by 2020 and 10 Gbps by 2022. Correct statement it is. First statement is correct. Second, it will provide universal broadband connectivity at 50 Mbps to every citizen. So, that is also one of the aims of, uh, of the national digital communication policy. Third, expand IoT, Internet of Technology Ecosystem. Uh, in Internet of Things ecosystem, not technology, it is a printing mistake. It is a printing mistake. Expand IoT ecosystem to 5 billion connected devices, right? So, this is also a correct statement. One of the aims of this policy is to make sure that uh, IoT ecosystem expands and 5 billion connected devices are there in India, right? So, uh, also it makes sure that there is increased connectivity to uh, non or uncovered areas. Similarly, uh, there is there is a, a goal to attract investment of US dollar 100 billion in digital communication sector. Moreover, uh, it also uh, makes sure that uh, 1 million human resource will be trained in new age technology. And finally, uh, its aim is also to have a secure digital communication infrastructure. And on the basis of that, we'll be able to provide secure services to our citizens right so all these three statements are correct statements about national digital communication policy answer is d 1 2 and 3 next now question uh, 10th with reference to the smart cities to be introduced by the railways consider the following statements sorry smart trains consider uh, with reference to smart trains to be introduced by railways consider the following statements first smart trains will use Internet of Things based system for wheel, coach and track monitoring, right? So, this statement is a correct statement. In order to make sure that the trains become smart, we will be using uh, IoT and this IoT will be used for wheels, coaches and track monitoring. First statement is correct. Second, it will use white box technology to provide information on passengers and coach conditions on real time basis. So, this statement is incorrect statement. It is not a white box technology, it is a black box technology, right? It is not a white bo box, it is black box technology, uh, which, uh, which has a uh, powerful multidimensional inter interface so that uh, will be able to provide information on passengers and coach conditions on real time, right? So, that technology which provides real time information on passengers, about passengers and coach conditions is black box, it is not white box. So, second statement that is why is incorrect statement. Third, they are indigenously developed under Make in India initiative. So, this statement is a correct statement. Smart trains are being developed under Make in India initiative. So, first and third statements are correct and that is why answer of this question is. So, uh, we are supposed to find out incorrect statements. So, answer of this question is B because only second statement is incorrect, right. So, that is about this particular test. Thank you. You can check out uh, the All India PT mock test. Thank you.